running Armchair Warriors Top here, episode 13, lucky 13 of Battletech Advanced 3062, BTA 3062, and we are actually on our way to a new system. We just finished up uh, the final three contracts last episode in the previous system, and we're moving onward to a new system here. In the meantime, we'll work, um, we're providing work on a Howler, which is not going to get ready by the time we get to uh, Unsmarked. We're also working on uh, some incre increased uh, mech bay repair capabilities, make things get uh, repaired a little quicker and uh, built quicker and stuff like that. Floppy badly injured. The um, battle armor that she was uh, controlling, it's kind of weird how the, how the game handles it, but basically it's battle armor that uh, they're just controlling. They're not really in it, I mean, unless they're cloning themselves in five different places. Um, she's not really controlling the battle armor and thus getting injured, but nonetheless, she got injured pretty badly in that in the final mission, um, but it was worthwhile. Uh, we got a lot of cool stuff out of it, um, but we are going to continue moving on. Let's progress. Another uh, lore event. Uh, this is actual lore from the game. Again, I'm not terribly familiar with stuff that happens post-3050. Um, kind of dropped off the uh, tabletop game and role-playing game um, uh, many years after the 3050 stuff was released. They came out like 3065 st uh, or 3060, I forget what it was. 30 anyway, they came out with more, they've come out with more and more expansions going into the 3100s for, uh, you know, from books and stuff like that too. Really haven't read any of that, any of that newer stuff. Uh, more, more in line it, what feeds me is the older stuff, the early 3000s, 3015 stuff, you know, uh, the clan invasion stuff, 3050 is great as well, I love that too, but the newer stuff just hasn't really tickled my fancy, but <laughs> that's fine, that's fine, it's all good, but here you can see something specific about going on, uh, the St. Saint Ives Compact, which does kind of impact what's going on. The map itself is fairly dynamic with uh, one of the add-ons that is included in this uh, modification to the game in that, uh, and we've seen it too, systems can be raided and even if fully straight on attacked by other uh, other uh, houses and, and enemies and stuff like that and changes can appear on the map as um, territories are, are taken over, play, uh, systems are taken over. So you can see this kind of stuff being represented in the game as well. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can hopefully lift you enough time to read all that specifics there. We shall say, okay. I've been playing this so often. The new stuff, I forget how far up I've gotten. Maybe about 3065, 3066. Uh, you can keep, I, I forget, I'm not sure how long you'd be able to play. And actually, this playthrough, um, my ultimate goal is to get to a point where my uh, company can field whatever's needed to handle the situation uh, at, at hand there, um, whatever that may be. So that, that'll that mean, of course, a fully decked out uh, Argo, um, mech warriors with 10 skills across the board, uh, mechs uh, from you know light up to assault, even uh, the super assault variety as well, the ones that are, that are over 100 tons. Um, so, you know, we might get to a point where we're in the 3070s and there'd be stuff that'd be like, oh, I haven't seen this. I doubt there could be new events, but that one I was very familiar with. Onward, that's Mark. That's Mark. Like I said, I think there's an add on that uh, removes these animations. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's only 10 seconds, 15 seconds at a time, so it's not really much, but some people, they just they don't want to wait. That's fine, you know. Your time is certainly valuable. That's why I pause the the, um, the recording while I'm going through deployments. Because that uh, deploying to a battlefield can take uh, yeah anywhere for two to five minutes, even sometimes I've seen, depending upon what we're going to. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. Cool, cool. Let's visit their store real quick. This is what I typically do, even though we're not going to buy anything at this point. I just want to see what they have available here. Um, standard stuff, yeah. Uh, 
we do have some money, but I'm not going to be buying anything just yet. I need to make sure that I've got enough money to be able to do the upgrades and repairs that I need to do on my mechs, as well as travel to uh, new worlds. That coolant pod I would like kind of like to get. Um, fairly expensive. It's a one-time use, but th 30 heat cooldown. That could be something pretty useful for one ton, one slot. That could be something useful for an all-energy mech, um, like a Nova, <laughs> for example. Uh, um, Nova Prime, specifically. 12 ER medium lasers. Um, that could be cool. Uh, a bunch of stuff here that would like to get. These airdrop beacons of various types would be nice. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of these uh, fire control systems, uh, ammo feeds, whatnot. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Um, what weapon was it that I got ballistic wise? Was it the LB 10X? No, I have LB 10X ammo. While I'm here, yeah, I need to look and see, make sure I got ammo. Uh, Ultra AC 10. any ultra uh, AC ammo. Um, I have the ultra AC 5 and ultra AC 10, but I don't have ammo for either of those. Um, let's go back to buying ammo, ballistics, ultra ammo for ultra AC 20. That's what I saw and I was like, oh, maybe I, maybe I could, maybe it has a uh, for the stuff I need, but unfortunately not. A lot of cool stuff. Oh, arrow. If I get an arrow system and then drop Inferno on them, it does less damage, of course. Um, 15 heat damage. The uh, deals area effect damage within 80 meters. Additional area effect damage is 10 to primary and secondary. Additional area effect heat damage is plus 10 to primary and secondary. It's always ignites terrain, 8 area of burning terrain, 4 duration, 40 strength, which means that's that's how, that's, uh, the burning is like how quickly it'll, it'll tear down buildings and stuff like that, uh, things that, that are destructible, uh, trees and brush and stuff like that, they have a very, very low um, uh, uh, strength, if you will, um, so yeah. Stuff that would certainly like to get here. Uh, I already have a. I thought I saw where I had a LAC already. I got LAC 2, Pack 8. Plasma ammo. Yep, could be using that. There's a lot of stuff I would certainly like to get. Inferno rocket launchers. These are one shots only, but load that onto a mech, um, load them, like, well, maybe not all onto a mech, so that's all it does is <laughs> have these rocket launchers. Um, but yeah, utilize this on a, uh, on a mech there, put them, put them both in, and, uh, run them into battle there, and they can really cause some havoc. So we got plasma rifle. No, that could be interesting. So have the battle armor ride into battle, and um, these these they weigh point three. So uh, four rounds of internal ammunition. So it can only be used four times before it goes out. But throw that into uh, battle armor and uh, get up and close to a mech and have them all fire off uh, say five of them that's 40 heat that is getting thrown out at somebody life is not going to be enjoyed <laughs> so yeah that's that's idea King David Goss rifle not too heavy actually um, 12 rounds okay interesting support stuff there um, oh so let's be looking at weapon. Oh, actually, I, yeah, I already seen those. This is what I was looking at there too. Cool, cool. All right. Um, I get a 
financial report in 12 days, so we're not going to uh, get anything in that regards. Um, let's see. Ours. Okay. I like the uh, the chatter. Uh, it kind of makes the uh, the mech f uh, the mech the uh, dropship feel alive. Well, the Argo, I guess, we're all on the Argo. The dropship's what takes all our battle mechs in battle. So not really too many mech warriors here. None that I would take. I, I would I would take like a Kickstarter just so it's or even a Ronin, somebody that's a bit unique. So we're not really in need of anybody just yet. The Howler is still being worked on. So we got the B team again. Again, there's only a few dozen missions. I don't know how many dozens of missions, I should say. Um, probably less than a hundred different missions. Um, so you can see Gunslinger again. Same type of setup for two B team. You remember that from uh, uh, last episode? I think we did a B team where three. Um, three of the mechs in my first lance are taken over by these B team guys that were just basically training, but our lance, our other lance is still intact. Um, actually there's two B teams. Wow. Oh, this is nice. I didn't realize this was a polar. All of these are polar tundra. Um, polar, I'm sure, is colder than tundra. Yeah. Heat sinks slightly more readily in this biome though there can be hot springs so yes polar that's a whole bunch of yeah heat sinks quite readily in this biome but there's some geothermal activity in there too this will be a nice nice system to be playing in all right let's start on top work our way through um this is the b team so oh you know what let me go back to this you know what i like to so just continue it needs to be taking our ship in Additionally, thanks for taking Chinese out. We allocate some funds to cover your repairs. That's what threw me. The other BT mission was I didn't have to repair uh, my mechs. I had one mech that actually lost an arm, so I was thinking I'd have to repair the um, um, well, not only repair the arm, but also replace the um, weapons that were in that arm too. That was not the case, actually, so that I was very grateful about that. So, yeah, this is two B-teams on this. It's pretty good. Um, 80,000 for three. We're doing okay in money. We're getting very close to disliked after this next, not this mission, but next mission. This is where we're at currently. Red is how much we're going to lose. And you can see on the uh, word of Blake, if, let's say we go, we don't want any salvage, and heck, we really don't want any money. Actually, it only changed at this point here, dropping from 191 to 111. We'll get actually more reputation. They like us better. But that doesn't change Clan Wolf. They're like, no, we don't like you at all. All right. This is the B-team uh, lamp wasp, a stinger lamb. That is my first lamb I've ever seen. Um, lamb is a light airborne mech or something like that. Basically, it's a mech that can fly. Think, um, oh god, what is that? Uh, Robotech, for example, probably probably the biggest one. Um, which the makers of Battletech Fasa um, had gotten sued at one point by the makers of Robotech for their earlier models looking so close to Robotech models. Um, among these were these were these lambs that, that we see here. The uh, the design just was just so close, but they uh, they're still in the game. It's just I, I don't know the specifics on on the uh, details of that <laughs> what happened in court me, but these guys can fly. Um, for short short distances, it's not like you know, boom, they take off like an aerospace fighter or something like that. Um, it'll be interesting to see this in action. Uh, fire starter Omni. Um, I think the last.
last B team we did, they had a Firestar Army. So this is our heaviest mech we've got in battle at this point. That's nice. Okay. So, um, Ether Inner Adder, which that works. Um, is this our missile boat? It is. I want to keep her in that missile boat because I kind of like that idea with her. And it plus the fact that she's able to multi-target. She can target one, shoot a bunch of missiles, finish it off, for example, if it's pretty weak, and then and then start or even finish off a second one. Just be able to split her fire to two different targets with her with her missiles. That's a uh, an idea that um, appeals to me greatly. Next lance here. Revista and Arctic Cheetah is fine. Tertius and the Mislinks, um, good. <sighs> Floppy is injured. We're gonna put uh, Wolfbane's in, in there. I'll use the two of them, um, Floppy and uh, Wolfbane's as battle armor pilots. Once again, a second battle armor. They'll, they'll be running, running around there. Shade, if I get a tank vehicle built up, to uh, put shade in because he's got that vehicle symbol. I do as well, but I'd rather drive it back. <laughs> All right, deploy, and as per normal, I will pause the video, save you guys a minute or two of my blathering before we get down to the planet. Back to you guys. And we are back. You read the specifics about the B team here. We're going for a full uh, 18 salvage rights. Only going to pay 30,000 minus all our uh, missile, ballistic weapon expenditures, ammo expenditure there. Same as it was in the previous one, just took a map of course time. Antarctic, love that idea. I love their chatter, but for the B team, it's typically the same. And same names too. Uh, when Pontoon, I forget the other guy's name. Up to the base, Stubble. That's it, yeah. Epsilon. Galaxy. Each of the clans has a special um, star that were that were a galaxy actually. Yeah. So the military nomenclature, you know, where you have like uh, uh, regiment, division, corps, uh, you know, groups in our Earth uh, nomenclature, the, the the clans have the same sort of breakdown as well too. They have uh, stars. Uh, meaning five, five mechs, and they go upward from there. I forget how it breaks down, but galaxy is like a, a grouping of stars. Uh, there's also binary, which is a grouping of galaxies, I think. Or it might be vice versa. It might be binary and then galaxy. Anyway, they have the same type, of, same type of nomenclature. So this is basically many, many, many uh, stars, you know, uh, that we're dealing with here. It's, it's a large grouping of these guys, the Epsilon group. That we're that we're dealing with adds a little flavor, which is nice. Um, so we don't have any enemies. We just need to run up to the base, which we shall do. So this is the Firestar on the four flamers, two large lasers. Let's jump jets. Decent. Roger. Get a stinger lamb. Um, so. It's my first time doing this, so bear with me as I read over it. You can read with me as well, too. Um, avionics equipment allows a carrying unit to transfer between battle mech and air mech mode. Air mech mode, the unit gains heavily increased movement speed, but it's more susceptible to both regular damage and stability damage. But they're not affected by terrain in any way, because they're in the air. Uh, when in air mech mode, they take 10% more damage. That's not bad. Um, so basically... We've got uh, 700 points of armor, so we can take 700 points of damage in air mech mode. We can take about 600, so that's not bad. Uh, when in air mech mode, the unit suffers a minus 3 to accuracy and penalty, that is. Because, of course, you're flying in the air. You're, you're uh, moving so much faster uh, there. Um, but I wonder if they get, well, it just says suffers the minus 3 accuracy and penalty. I wonder if maybe they might get a bonus because you're, maybe you have an elevation. Probably not. That probably that minus three penalty probably takes into account the fact that you're higher up than the enemy. Uh, when air mech mode, stability threshold is lowered by 15, so greater susceptibility to falling. But I don't know what happens if they quote unquote fall from the air. I guess they would just crash to the ground. Uh, when air mech mode, this unit moves 100% faster when walking. So we oh pause over it again, but 
So we can see we can move out to that far. Um, double that basically be out to here for an air mech load. So yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, reading further. Um, their sprinting modifiers increased by 0.2. Um, so if you have a sprint of 10, it also becomes 12. Um, and in air mech mode, that means then you're moving 24, 24 square. So probably so a bit further. So uh, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, transforming gear, the mix control the mechs. Transformation technology permits the mech swap between modes easily without trouble. Technology is fragile and heavy, though, prone to breakage, which made lambs troublesome in terms of maintenance, leading to lambs slowly fading off active services more and more than broke. However, in the 3060s, knowledge repair and build the ABX return, lambs began proliferating around the industry again. Part of the lore is that um, the golden heyday of mankind was in the 2500s, 2600s, maybe, maybe even sooner than that earlier than that maybe or later I don't know but anyway well before this time frame um, something happened uh, and that's kind of similar to 40k I guess where the knowledge was kind of lost um, the technology kind of stagnated here and you had battle mechs that might be 100 200 years old and while um, the ability to build weapons new weapons and you know, put on armor stuff is it works, and, and still, I guess, build mechs and stuff like that. The knowledge of how to build, create new stuff, or or take care of the uh, older, cool technology just kind of faded away in time, it, or just outright died. Uh, billions upon billions of people died in the in the in all the wars, the many succession wars that occurred. That's very rough and probably very incorrect breakdown in the lore of uh, Battletech, but it's very interesting that, I mean, we are talking this is all taking place a thousand years roughly from our current time right now, so probably not out of the idea realm of saying, yeah, let's, let's run around in, in these big hulking uh, megaton machines that have all these cool weapons, lasers, plasma, you know, all the kind of particle projection cannons, all that kind of cool stuff. Um, and now we have uh, mechs that can transform to a fleet mode and zip around like a like an aerospace fighter. Uh, transform to mech mode. Mech will hover above the battlefield with more terrain. It'll move at considerably higher speeds. Mech walk speed translates to flight speed in air mech mode. So, <coughs> when I see there's a, a fail percentage, I imagine if you take damage, that fail percentage goes up. Meaning if you, as we're stomping around the battlefield and we're taking hits, the field percentage will go up, and if we want to transform to um, lamb mode, um, aramech mode, then it might might not work because of all the damage we've taken. In any event, it's a, it's a stinger, a twenty ton, thirty ton mech, SRM four, three machine guns. All that to say, we're just going to keep them on the ground for right now. Rolling. There's no benefit I feel to. To having them fly around right now. Because they would fly, we can actually get to the base, but it's like, you'd be out there all by yourself, buddy, you wouldn't have any backup. Uh, and we have a 2010 Wasp. Uh, they have an ER medium laser and a rocket launcher 10. So this is a uh, Interfere mech that it has some of the newer qualities. The Endo Steel, for example, which is an Interfere Endo Steel, uh, weighs the same. Or it provides the same sort of weight reduction that the clans endo steel does for their structure, uh, but it takes up more space than what the uh, the clans have. And it looks like just a standard engine. It's not an XL engine. Yeah, yeah. There's just heat sinks in here. Stealth armor component. Oh, so we have stealth armor. Don't uh, stealth. So when stealth is activated, and this looks like it has the same sort of fail chance. I, you know, I didn't notice with the Guardian ECM, I didn't notice that fail chance there, but I imagine once you start taking damage, maybe your Guardian ECM might start not working. That fail chance goes up. Stealth, um, when activated, it's currently off. No charges, it says. Uh, plus two maximum invasion pips, nice. 
plus two evasion pips gained from movement. Plus one defense against being hit. This unit has minus 30% visibility to negative, so it's, it's uh, neg no, negative is good, positive is bad. So decrease visibility to the enemy. So yes, that's good. Uh, that means the enemy's not able to see you quite as easily. Uh, this piece of equipment occupies 12 additional slots. That's probably why this doesn't have Excel <laughs> or uh, Ferrofibers fibers even. This component generates plus 30 heat per turn when active. Um, probably not too much of a big deal. This only basically this thing only has an ERB laser. It has a rocket launcher 10, but this is a one-shot weapon. Uh, yeah, single shot unguided rocket will fire 10 rockets. Um, each doing five points of damage. So if all those rockets hit, that's 50 points of damage and a bra missile missile volley, which is cool. But that's one shot. Once once it's fired, it's gone. The only thing we have then is an ear medium laser, so that's not terribly helpful. Uh, requires an inch for your EMC, ECM system to be installed. Clan ECM is incompatible. Okay. Something to remember then with clan. If I go with like an all clan mech, which I'm not, uh, but if I go with like an all clan mech lance, or I just can't put stealth into a clan mech, it just it wouldn't be worthwhile. Click on the label button in the weapon panel to activate this equipment. Interesting. That's a lot of bonus heat, generates a lot of bonus heat while activated. Um, yeah, 30 heat return says. It's very bulky. It provides defensive bonuses, match only by a lost deck. Starlink systems such as Null Sig and Chameleon LPS. Requires 12 slots. Right, ECM, yeah, so same stuff as there. So, a couple things I can activate, and I think we will during. Moving out! During this mission, but let's. Oh. Before I forget. What do you need? Oh, holy cow. You're all the way over there. Yep. Um, actually, let's have you just march through. I'll do what I can. Low. I can get my cheetah over here. Moving to position. There we go. Copy that. Let's go. Turn everything on here. Okay. I'm not trying to get to the edge of the map. I'm trying to... Scroll down here. There we go. That's right. I had, I had to drop a. Um, we lost so many that, and we didn't have these SRMs. I had to put in the uh, battle armor SM4s, interspear SRM4s. So less damage. Seven instead of nine. And these because these are advanced SRMs. And one less, one less shot. Bummer, but it is what it is. All right, load up. Cool, cool. All right, let's get you guys going a little bit further here. Heading out. Um, we're going with the avionics now. Sure. I'm walking here. I'm not gonna activate the stealth armor. I don't need Order to generate heat at this point. Copy that. Not until at least we get into some sort of, you know, conflict. On my way. At this point, all we're doing is we're walking up to the uh, base. Roger. We'll step into it, and then boom, enemy, enemy will be activated, just like last time. Uh, let's see here. So you do have jump jets. Yeah, we'll come up to here. Confirmed. I like the fact that he can, I mean, 8 is the most evasion he can get, but, I mean, I get that for just by going not far, not even my full distance, you know, like in here, and I still can go all the way out to here and still get the same evasion. Yep, it's empty. Yeah, sure, it's double. Enemy, enemy 
enemies appearing here at the edge of the map. Copy that, Commander. Yeah, I kind of feel worth what, that it's worthwhile to get to have turned into a land. At aye, this aye. Point. I could have done that first turn, honestly. Acknowledged. Because, um, yeah, they're not going to be landing for a bit yet. So, I'll try to pull the battle over to here. So, let me move my guys side to side over here. On my way. Yeah. It looks kind of silly the way it's the way that it is. I mean, it's like a fighter jet with a person. <laughs> but that, that's how they looked. Uh, well, at least that part. There's a, a different lamb uh, models out there. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, besides, the, oh, I think the wasp had a lamb model as well. Basically, they're all light, light mechs. They're all just light mechs that uh, could get converted to that. Uh, let's do that. Understood. Again, I'm just gonna I got stay me. on top of this ridge, pull the fight to here. On the move. Grace. It's gonna keep running back and forth. Move order received. All right. Yeah, we'll keep running back and forth on the ridge here. We can actually kind of go all the way across here because we'll have a height bonus. On it. Us. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. That way we can get this done here. We collateral damage. Because they're going to all come towards me. And I say all. I think it's just the one mech. Oh, wow. Well. <sighs> Commander? I think I might have uh, misanticipated. Bad this is gonna be confirmed with, with my short range weapons, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm just gonna move them anyway. Uh, more reserve though, because it's my battle armor. The Prana, yeah, we need to kill him. He's got a bunch of laser and see him die all over there. Uh, probably a couple of your small and then a whole bunch of micro lasers, all short range for the most part. Order. Empty. Best to take the shots we can. Uh, Confirmed. Confirmed. Okay, this is our stinger lamb. Um, we can actually run like right up to their face nearly here. Not a good chance to hit because Onward. we are flying. Literally, as you can see. Take any shot we can. Two heavy medium lasers, so that's what was fired. A heavy small laser, which might be in range of uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve micro lasers. Those are very short range. Inferno gel. Oh, that's an Inferno SRM. Oh. What do you need? 
So 46. What does it look like? At 65. So yeah, let's. Moving to position. Let's get that height advantage. And copy that. Left leg, left torso, left arm. Sheared off its bad ass. Confirmed. Holding and cooling. Yeah. I I agree with Samar. Um <laughs> one Mission successful. ran up. Died. <laughs> In one turn. Okay. I overbid on my uh contract. For the amount of salvage we we're going for. I was actually thinking it'd be like a full star, but it was just a half skull, so okay, only one mech king. We did get a, a good amount of bonus there for none of the buildings getting destroyed, so yay on that. Okay. Nobody really got hurt. We're gonna end up getting everything. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. So yeah, we bid for 18 salvage total. Let's just do that. Say confirm. Everything else comes to me. Which, looking at the hull, is actually not too bad. Um, I do have a piranha part, it says. Yes. Same thing, piranha 2. So that's three piranha 2 parts. Intriguing. Get a whole bunch of weaponry. Another XL clan engine, which is cool. 180, which I could probably sell. I have two already. Typically, I don't need a, you know more than more than two of a particular engine. That's all. It's only 80 grand. Look, um, more heatsink clan double heatsinks we get, the better. Though the big thing is getting the clan double heatsink. Um, system as well. That's a separate entity that allows you to then put in clan double heat sinks. All clan mechs automatically have the clan double heat sink um, system, but if I get like an interfere mech and want to put in clan double heat sinks, then I need that clan double heat sink system to be able to pop in there. It doesn't really weigh anything. It takes a, takes the place of whatever is currently in there, which is typically single heat sinks. Uh, and the advantage of clan double heat sinks versus say atmosphere double heat sinks they do the same thing they vent out more heat than regular heat sinks do um, for the same amount of tonnage they, they all weigh one ton the atmosphere take up three slots while the clans take up two so you can pack more clan double heat sinks into a mech than you can atmosphere double heat sinks that's the advantage of the, the clan double heat sink in that regards um, we don't, yeah I was going to say <laughs> Nobody was damaged. <laughs> Just, I don't think he. <coughs> I'm trying to remember now. He fired two medium lasers. And I think he hit one of one of the B team guys. Anyway, we don't have to worry about getting uh, stuff repaired. That's the way it works, and of course it is the way it works. I like that B team. <laughs> All right, middle management, another half skull. Let's maybe not overbid on this. Um, 
Wolf Leader is present and vulnerable, limiting them. They'll be relatively unguarded, but they're going to have at least some sort of escort. Uh, they'll be bumps when we have to escort units as well. Okay. I'm going to do just a 2-9. I don't think there's going to be much. This will drive us into the... Uh, into towards the hated, I believe. Let's load up our standard. Floppy can't pilot, and that's fine. Um, everybody is where we should be having them. Kid Fox Prime, what's that one? The ATM. Streak LB 5X, here small. Kid Fox A. Uh, Goss. So, do I want to have Goss? Or the Ult oh, I want the Ultra AC 10. The SRM6 here, medium, small. Would love to have the Goss too, but I like the Ultra AC10 and reaches out and touches people. So does the Goss too. I'm not gonna, not gonna poo-poo that. All right, let's save this as standard. Since Floppy is not gonna be in it for a good three months or so, and halfway through our video, let me go ahead and pause it again so that we don't waste a couple minutes here. Alrighty, we are back. Um, and I say that, for you, it was just a mere millisecond. For me, eh, okay, it was a couple of minutes. Alrighty, you can see the specifics on this. We're hunting down a uh, wolf leader. There's going to be some escorts. Um, we'll find out if it's just a star of escorts, or if there's a uh, bunch of reinforcements as well. with us too. Uh, well, that's a whole bunch of stuff. I gotta wait for this to kind of go away so I can have a good idea what we got here. So we got a Comstar Force here, a Raven, Narc Launcher, two medium lasers, Tag, and SRM-6. Interesting, this guy has both Narc and Tag. That will help us out, or should at least. And an Owens. This is a more modern big uh, mech, I believe. Kind of silly looking mech too. Um, large laser, which is damaged. Destroyed, too many lasers, and tag as well. Huh. Uh, that's all we got. Okay. So let's march down this way here. Move order received. Oh, wait. Supporting enemy forces are to the left. Waiting for orders. Let's go to the left. Moving, Commander. On the move. Confirmed. Yeah, let's take on these reinforcements first. And then Affirmative. Go. If anything else kind of Position pops up, confirmed. you know, we can pivot and take care of them too. Uh, race. Roger that. Digging in. Get it on. Um, reserve. Reserve. Holding, Commander. Reserve. Serving. Waiting for the shot. This is this guy up here. Plus the elemental, of course, too. But the elemental's not gonna. Roger that. Standing by. The battle armor. I keep saying elemental because that's what clans typically use. But last, I mean, several times I'm fighting clans, and they've gotten, they've had the golem battle armor, something even bigger and heavier than, than the elemental. Roger that. Acknowledged. That's fine. Wolf base. Good to go. Let's load up your weapons. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? Oh, thank you. I did it again. Can we? We can't mount swarm. Okay. Commander. Let's move here. Let's actually move three evasion. Build some evasion up. Brace. Now he's got to move. Yep. Bates. That scrolling takes forever. Bad advantage of having a. This is being built on the battle tech. Um, oh, it's, oh, this is what I can scroll as well. Sometimes it pays attention, or it pays to pay attention to. Anyway, this frame is the Battletech um, game frame. And since you're playing with 3015 mechs, even your assault 100 ton, 100 ton assault mechs might only have like maybe eight weapons on it, <laughs> you know, at most. So it's not designed, it's not, it's not expandable to, and to deal with the Battletech advanced stuff that comes. So you have battle armor, five pe you know five pieces of battle armor that they each have their own main weapon, and they also have you know a a, um, a missile. Now, oh, maybe they might also have like you know a machine gun as well. So there's like you know three weapons that they might have. So yeah, this thing you have to scroll through sometimes to get to your to your weapons and other stuff that you can do too. But it is what it is. There we go. We boarded. I gotta remember. I got battle armor, which is pretty much all the time now. Fire buff. Damage coming in damage too. Nice. Ready, Commander. Yep. Alright, Tertress. Um. Let's run up here. I don't think that Fire Moth has jump jets. Acknowledge. Here, see if we're able to fire at it with a decent chance to hit. Oh, no, not, not any chance at all. Um, what does Big Lactic Probe look like? No, so I'm just going to do. That was the element in there. How's it going? All right. On the move. Well, not able to see too much, but let's take on what we can take on. Yeah, 
firing jump jet. Let's jump. Let's see if we get a lock on. I didn't hit. No, no lock on. Negative damage. Nope. No locks. And coin flips on each one. Yeah. Reserve as well. And probably now the fire moth is going to move up to wherever stay. Ready, Commander. to hit, but not, still not ideal. Oh, I'm running the Charge uh, TC, I need to pull him out of that. I gotta remember to pull him out of that. I'm one of the repaired clan mechs that I have. Oh, the vehicle back there, okay. Waiting for orders. Um, oh, I should probably head Tertrisco first, so that way I could put the uh, sensor lock on him. This time I'm going to fire. Roger that. Yeah. Grazed. Not much damage really. Yeah, he's running into up to light fingers there. What do you need? See because it's not going to show me the devastation. I'm here. Not a thing, of course. <laughs> Not a thing. Confirmed. So we're just going to stay at range now for the... Uh... From the elementals, which we're not going to fire on. I think we'll fire on the fire moth. Yeah. Copy that. Some nice hits there. Got past the armor.
plus one mech. Um, the mech warrior pilot is me, so I can't die. Um, I can only, I believe, I think if you, I, I take the back, I think if you do die, it's game over. So at that point, I have to, would have to reload this mission. Um, but I think the chances of that are, are much lower than one, than a normal mech warrior. What do you need? But any event, my uh, alter ego is going to be in the hospital for quite some time. Ready, Commander. Um, let's see with you. Moving, Commander. Arct to cut missiles as well, so yay for that. Four slash five, that means there's four remaining. Standing by. Position confirmed. So there won't be that many more remaining. Okay, I'm on it. Scored a critical hit. Finally, my 
something. Ready, oh my god. Moving, Commander. Wow. Watch over. Sliced off his right side and left side. That's why it went down. Two left torso and right torso both went out. That's four engine hits. You only need three engine hits to kill when you're fighting. Aye, aye. Um, I'm gonna have her kind of move. Actually, no, we don't need that. Or yes, we do actually need that. Because they still have lasers and stuff. I need to build up evasion. This will be probably... Aye, aye. Messed him up good. 40, 40 missiles tend to do that. It's 160 damage all hit. Yes, Commander. Um, Receiving you. Just, just come back here like so. We're going to sensor lock you. Two your immediate lasers. It's a clan uh, reconnaissance vehicle. So interesting. Two-year medium lasers, two machine guns, and a streak six. Commander. What does kicking look like? Not good. Copy yeah. that. Got a good chance to hit and some stuff here. Knocking the evasion always helps. You can uh, beagle, you can bap them, beagle, I can probe them, or sensor lock them. Anytime she can, fire a whole weapon. No, didn't do much there. Just one last round. Aye, aye. Uh, we should race. Copy that. Let's go. Aye, aye. So on the front, you're definitely hurt. Unfortunately, she's my missile load, so it doesn't Understood. matter how far she has to go, because she can still push. She reached pretty far. So this is a mini mech for sure. Um, it could be a heavy, if it's a clan. It's not an assault. 
has to shift six. Yeah, there's no way. Ready, Commander. Uh, Combat, so that's why. Acknowledged. We have. Uh, well, I guess it briefly popped up, but then it said no. So, interesting. Roger. Confirmed. Affirmative. Waiting for orders. On my way, double time. What does firing look like on him? Pretty good, actually. I won't worry about uh, sensor locking him. Actually, you know what? No, we are. We're going to worry about sensor locking him. Remove that evasion. But also, Not a lock. impair their sensors. They can't move to me. Laser bomb. Commander. Let's throw a precise strike on him. No, no, we don't have to. Everybody's moving before he does. We don't need a precise strike. <laughs> nice. Dealt a heavy hit there. One of the three engine grits. Standing by. On my way. That means more heat they will generate if they fire their weapons. They can't sink that amount of heat. 
Second media mech. First good media mech. The uh, Howler technically is a media mech. Anything that's uh, 40 tons, 40 to 55 tons is considered a media mech. All right, got 75 grand. That's not bad. Uh, Gen 2 C is going to need some work. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Injured. 123 days. Jeez, it's a third of a year <laughs> that I'm going to be out of action. Ow. Let's take a look at the Kit Fox here. Um, yeah, this might be... Yeah, they cored me. Uh, they took out my second torso entirely. So the XL engine. So, I mean, that's good. That didn't affect the UAC. Um, but that did affect... We'd have to replace the, the 180... Um, all that stuff to get replaced. This we might have to just junk this back. The Gen 2 C I'm gonna repair, but pull it definitely is gonna pull, get pulled out of the standard rotation and get replaced by one of the clan mechs we have. Uh, everybody else did good. Alright, so what are we gonna be grabbing here? Um Well We don't have any Nova parts, so let's grab the two Nova parts. I would really love to have the uh, the Elemental as well. Because we already have two. Uh, yeah, that would be three. Bunch of other stuff here, as we can see. Okay, let's see what they give us. Uh, they kept the third Nova part. That's a bummer, but they did give us the Elemental, so all right. Here's a Fire Moth. Uh, tag, which we don't have any. Ammo MG half, which we have three. Let's just sell the one. 660 bucks. Blah. Precision computer. Cool. Streak six. We don't have any. Heavy medium laser. Alright. Not too bad of a haul, actually. Got two Nova parts. Get two more. And we've got a uh, really good medium mech there. Storm Crow is what I need to be <laughs> facing against. Or Viper. Stormcrow just need one part. Viper would need two parts. 
But either of those would work very well for us. Let's go to Mech Bay here. So my guy is out for 120 plus days. Duration of this system here and probably like the next three, four systems maybe. That's a long time out. That might actually not be quite so bad if I can if I do some um, Argo upgrades on say the uh, medical bay. Uh, that gives us medic points. Doing upgrades for the tech bay gives us tech points, which get put towards uh, repairing and upgrading mechs. Same thing with the medical bay. The more tech points you have, the quicker that stuff gets done. Uh, so, Jenner, repair. Take a day, that's fine. Kid Fox, let's see what a refit... Let's just look and see what a refit co uh, will look like and cost. Um, oh, it says we can do it. Engine's damage has been repaired, yeah. That's the other thing. E cooling is damaged, repair that. Yeah, it's been it's been repaired. So no, it's uh good. It'll take three days. Alright, it's uh not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was right. gonna be I'd have to I'll jump get it in. in the schedule. Fortunately we have a couple a couple of we have several max here. Um we have room for one more if we want to do that. I do want to repair the uh, the Janner 2C, but I think I'm going to eventually. I'm just going to go ahead and dump that into storage there. Uh, before we call it on this episode, I want to see. Yeah, I have all these medium mechs weight and this heavy. Oh my god, I can just taste it. Um, we can put together an incubus. We can put together a uh, mist lynx. Together a fire moth. We also have three different elementals waiting in the back <laughs> here to get more parts for. Um. Nah, I say on that. Let's go to the command center. Let us get our next mission here. So, sending a message. Uh, Wolf leadership. Take racing hard line. Racing with military interdiction. You send a message by destroying one of the munitions factions. We just got to go in and destroy a uh, base. Which we look there. We're in Tundra, so not quite as heat happy as the last place we're in. And that's why that Nova, Nova Mac didn't just shut down after it vomited its lasers. We were in the Arctic, so the heat sinking was just like, yeah, we're getting a bonus here. Big bonus. Tundra, you get a bonus too, um, but it's not, I don't think it's as great as the Arctic. And they also have uh, geothermal uh, vents around that can cause some havoc. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and negotiate here. So we are in hated territory. Once we're done this system, we're gonna jump over to Jade Falcon. Because in hated, there's a chance there's a slight chance I think that they can hunt you down. Or if you keep it'll give you a message. Uh, you'll see you'll see <laughs> the Epsilon Galaxy guy will be, who will tell us, hey, you keep messing with us, we're gonna hunt you down, more or less. So I wanna finish up what's here. Hopefully we'll get that message and then fine, we'll leave Clan Wolf alone for a little bit. Until uh, till we're ready, till we get some uh, some good mechs to deal with them. For right now, um, so 150,000 for three. Let's take the 150. I feel it's a facility, so there's gonna be turrets, which are meh. We don't care. About the, you know, the stuff they carry, we don't care about. There's gonna be um, it's only one skull, so it's probably just a star of uh, mechs here at most but might not even be might not even be that big of there um where do we 
take a chance. It is a, it is a skull. You know what? We're going to approach this next episode here. I thank you guys for watching. I will go ahead and end the video here, and then we'll pick this up next episode. <laughs> Bye, guys.